just realized that I just skipped out of the bookstore yesterday without showing you guys what I got. Honestly, it was a hectic day. I mean, it's not that much of a story, but it was definitely a first for me. So here's the gist. I'm trying to get into reading books. When I'm not aimlessly scrolling through social media, I'm on my laptop editing or in front of the TV watching something. And since I've always loved reading, I figured go back to reading books and see if I can cultivate the habit and just imbibe it into part of what I do in my free time. So that being said, I set out to go to Roving Heights yesterday and on my way there, like four policemen just jumped in front of the car and were like, stop, stop, stop. We're asking you to stop, like park, 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 park. Mind you, this is the first time since I started driving that I've ever been stopped by police. So I park. I was so discombobulated that I forgot to put the car on park. My legs were just on the brakes and there was like a BMW parked in front of me. So this lady comes to me, asks me to wind down. She introduces herself that her name is Mar Martha or something or Miriam, one of the two, I, I don't remember. I was like, okay. I got so carried away that I started releasing my leg from the brakes and my car started moving forward towards the BMW in front of me. And then thank God, Miriam or Martha, I don't know, notices and she's like, much break, much break. Oh my god, I was literally this close to hitting the BMW in front of me. So I quickly hit the brakes, put the car on park, turn on my brake lights and all that jazz. She's like, okay, can I have your driver's license? I give her my driver's license. She looks at the driver's license and she's like, oh, Obiagiri, that's my name. I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, this your card has expired. I told you guys that I got my temporary driver's license last year, but it expired in January. I got the permanent one, however, and I thought it was in the car. So I checked there and I didn't find my permanent driver's license. I was just like, shit. And she's like, um, there's nothing we can do. You know, you are not supposed to be using this one. It's illegal, it's not allowed, it's an offense, blah, 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 blah. She then goes away with my driver's license and I'm just sat in the car like, okay, what am I gonna do now? Because I can't live here without my driver's license. How be temporary? So she comes to me and she's like, um, you know what, just give me money, you know, take care of us. I told her I don't have cash. And she's like, yeah, do transfer. So she gives me her account number and I, you know, send her the money. Obviously she took a look at my driver's license so that my name was Obiagiri. Obviously everybody knows that. Obi is short for Obi Aguirre, so she's like, ah, Obi, have fun, haven't you sent the money? I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, we're friends now, hi. You know, obviously I didn't say that, but in my head I was dying of laughter, like, look at this woman trying to extort me and still be my friend. But anyway, I finally get the receipts, I show her that I've sent her the money, she gives me back my driver's license and starts to advise me that, oh yeah, make sure not to leave the house without your driver's license, blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, yeah, 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 thank you, give me back my license, let me get the hell out of here because what the fuck? In the grand scheme, of things I know that my driver's license has expired and I should be going around with the permanent one not the temporary one so I take the blame on that one the whole exchange was just funny let me show you guys the books that I got so this one is called Atomic Habits by James Clare tiny changes remarkable results I wanted to get one book on self-help I also wanted to get one fiction hence why I got this one called Stay With Me by Ayobami Adebayo. This one was highly, highly recommended. And she's also a Nigerian author as well, so I figured, fantastic. This one is Murder Mystery, and I'm excited to actually read it and see just all that it's about. I also got these bookmarks that I think are so cute. This one says, just one more chapter. And this one says every chapter is like a new adventure. Bookmarks are just to mark where you've gotten to in your book. So yeah, that's what I got at the bookstore. I really like that bookstore, you know. But yeah, that's it. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Mary Colette here. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just put this on silent, okay? It's it's our time, okay? It's it's me and you time, so we can't be having we can't be having people texting us now. Um welcome back to my channel. I am watching Bimbo Ademoyes. 
I love her videos. Yeah, Baraka, she's so funny. Like, her stuff makes me laugh. Like, she's so funny. Welcome back to my channel, Miracle. It's here. How you doing? As you guys can tell, I'm in a very, very good mood this morning. I don't know. Ex oh, I think I know why. I think I know exactly why. Let me show you. This is why I just got my first order from Shein. Yes, guys, look, I really wanted it to come in a carton, but I guess I didn't spend enough money, but it's all good. We'll take this, okay, we'll take this. We don't have to do like full on glam, whatever, whatever right now. We just need a little bit of makeup and fix my hair. It is currently past one and I'm trying to finish everything today possibly edit today as well and hopefully put it out tomorrow or next fingers crossed first things first i'm going to disinfect my ears my ear my piercings if you watched my last vlog you know i got new piercings so this is me every morning and night after i shower i have to use q-tips dip it in solution and then rub it around my piercings I always just try and move the piercing around even though it just it still hurts a little but I just move it up so I can get in there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, yeah, Barakas, I'm so sorry that took longer than I wanted to. They disappeared, Abby. See, this is what I'm telling you. This is how they keep disappearing and appearing in my own home. I'm. <laughs> you guys need to watch this episode. I swear it's too funny. Go out if this is the kind of humor that you like. I have this disrespectful pimple on my cheek. I got this illegal concealer. You guys remembered when I got like makeup stuff and one thing was missing. It was this one, so they finally brought it to me. So let's cover up these scars on my face. Conceal that. Shouldn't I use like primer first? I should do primer first, you know. Oh. Okay, we have applied the primer on the face. It is so sticky. I haven't color corrected in ages. And I'm not very sure that I know what I'm doing. So this can go a lot of ways right now. But I'm really hoping that it doesn't backfire. Do I blend? Do I blend it? Because I feel like I just like patted it on. Okay, maybe I should blend it a bit before putting loose powder. So we've done that. Now it is time to put on some foundation. <gasps> Here goes nothing. Oh my days. This coverage is not coveraging. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I love it. I literally have like a full on makeup routine where I tell you guys all the products that I use and like what brand and all that jazz. So if it's something you're interested in, go watch that video. It's currently 1.40. Let's speed up this process, shall we? Hey, and left no crumbs, honey. What? I am shaking at this beauty because <laughs> let me just adjust my brows a little bit. Look at the material. Look at the material. Look at the freaking material, you guys. Oh, I feel so bad for people who aren't subscribed to my channel because they get to miss all this. Like people who don't even know about me. Like who are you even watching? And you know what's so funny? It looks even better in real life because as I'm looking at this camera, I'm getting upset because it's not giving what it's giving in real life. 
This is such a moment. My table looks a mess, but my face looks bomb. <laughs> no, but jokes aside. Are you joking? Anyway, let's do something about this. If you are judging me right now, I can hear you. And I'm coming to your house and I'm going to whoop your ass. So you better stop before I come over there. Don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Doing my own hair or like styling my own hair. It's not really my vibe. Is this the center? You know what? I do not care if it's the center or not. Hey, chicken. Look at this line. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this off camera so I can concentrate and just get back to you. Hey guys, so I have fixed my hair. I have changed into one of the outfits I got from Skims. Shein, yes, because this is the Skims dupe. I have to bring myself back to earth real quick. It's not Skims, it's Shein. Does this go? Yeah, it kinda does, okay. If you haven't watched my Shein haul, yeah, you should go watch it. You actually should. What's your name, man? Good morning. Um, actually, afternoon. Today is Sunday. Um, I didn't go to church today. Probably a good thing because I heard that someone who came to my church today. I mean, there's already enough traffic going in and out of that church as it is. So the last thing we need now is for him to come and be doing eye service and be doing FFA. Yeah, yeah. Nobody needs that, okay? For those who are wondering, someone who is like the governor of Lagos State and it's election period right now. So everybody's kissing ass majorly. But yeah, I didn't go to church today because I just woke up in a very crappy mood. But I feel so much better now. I woke up also craving white rice, plantain, and chicken stew. I remember my dad couldn't eat rice without plantain. So we never had Sunday rice at home without plantain. So it was always rice, plantain, and chicken. So yeah, I just woke up this morning and I just felt like having that, you know, today. Where are all these like security guards when you fucking need them? I think I'm good. I think I'm just perfect right here am i too close to the entrance do you know what i think i should just go and park here you know like i could just park here what is wrong with me why did i insist on parking here when i can use this park now my camera is overheating right now but it's all good we're here i didn't find plantain in there and the food isn't complete without plantain. But you know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to find somewhere else to buy plantain. So let's go on a little plantain hunt, shall we? I found plantain. Are you the one selling it? Yes. Where's your older one, sibling? Okay, can you call them for me? I want to find out if I can pay with transfer. Hi, can I transfer to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, how much? Two. It's like banana, so small. Please, ma'am. Okay, Nine zero two seven two seven. I guess we are adapting now. Um, even people that sell things on the roadside have realized that there is no people aren't wa walking around with cash anymore. So even they have had to adapt. I finally get my plantain. Let's go home now. Yup, made the turn once. 